Welcome to the Pro Shop at Canoe Creek Golf Course, an exclusive partner of Nike Golf. I'm head professional Jesse Crow. Thank you for taking our golf course tour. We know you're going to enjoy our beautiful layout designed by Dave Barr and fantastic conditions voted best in the Okanagan Chushua by BC Golf Guide. We look forward to seeing you on the first tee soon. And for more information, visit canoecreekgolf.com. fantastic opening hole at Canoe Creek is a straightaway par 4. From an elevated tee, an ideal tee shot will be down the right hand side as there is trouble left. Take an extra club on your approach and play for a shot that is long or short as the green falls off both left and right. An opening par is a great start to your round. Hole number two is full of risk and reward. Out of bounds on the left all the way down the hole makes keeping the ball in play key. The farther you hit it off the tee, the narrower your landing area. If you are going for the green, you must challenge the left hand side as a series of pot bunkers on the right mean bogey or worse. The green is flat, so navigate the hole properly and birdie is yours for the taking. Hole number three, the view from the tee or looking back up from the green is what make it the front nine signature hole. Hole number four is a slight dogleg to the left, a well positioned tee shot leaving 150 yards or less is ideal, but go through the fairway and more vicious pop bunkers await. The green is slightly elevated with a subtle ridge that will make reading this green tricky. Number five is a golden birdie chance for the brave. The church pew bunkers that guard the corner can be taken on, but miss your tee shot in the traps and you'll struggle for par. The farther back you lay up, the better your view will be of the shallow elevated green. For the longer hitter, an eagle is waiting for you. Hole number six is a short par three, but don't let it fool you. With trouble left and long, more bogeys are made here than pars. Hole number seven is a semi-blind tee shot. So a great line off the tee is the trees on the right between hole number seven and eight fairway. All shots kick left off the mound on the right. The green is guarded by water long and a steep bank and bunker in front. Accuracy is the key on this approach. Once you reach the green, take special care in reading your putt as the slope is significant though not always noticeable. Hole number 8. You have plenty of options off this tee. Either lay back at the top of the hill and have a clear look at the green, or smash a drive to the bottom and take the shorter club but severely uphill approach. This green demands accuracy as the bunker to the right is the deepest on the course.
Hole number nine is an uphill tee shot that should start up the right side as the fairway falls off towards the trees on the left. The bank on the right of the green will allow you to bounce your approach shot up on the green and leave you a birdie putt before the end of the front nine. Hole number 10 is my personal favorite hole, an uphill tee shot with water running up the right and in front of the green. An extra club on your approach will allow you to avoid a disaster to start the back nine. Hole number 11, a distinct aiming point off the tee is the bushy tree through the fairway that looks like Mickey Mouse ears. After finding the fairway, it'll be time for a decision. A short layup over the creek or an aggressive second shot over the gully and towards the green. Miss right with your approach and you may find a sneaky bunker. Miss left and you may have to get another ball. Hole number 12, a great par 3 where club selection depends heavily on the wind as you are elevated on this tee. The green is long from side to side but not very deep, so a ball coming in with a draw or a fade will be your best bet. Once you reach this green, putts can be made from all over, so get in the deuce pot. Hole number 13, if you're afraid of heights, you may want to sit this one out. A fantastic dogleg right with a huge drop from the tee to the fairway. Trouble on both sides of the fairway demands a long straight tee shot. The sneaky creek is back in front of this green, so make sure you know your yardage. The green slopes from back to front, but long is toast. Hole number 14. A good tee shot should stay away from the water up the left once in the fairway. Pinpoint accuracy is required to hit the green as the slope will bring balls back to the front of this green. Pop bunkers on the left and tight lies to the right make getting the ball up and down from off this green a tricky proposition. Hole number 15. There is not much room before hitting the marshlands through this fairway, so take a club that will leave you a full shot into the green. Protected by water everywhere but in front, once on this tiny putting surface, putts will drop. Hole number 16, the last and longest par 5. Aim at the tall trees up the right hand side and stay away from the out of bounds that runs all the way up the left. Second shot layup can be easily played up the right as the bank will funnel balls back into the fairway. Be careful on your approach shot as the out of bounds and large bunker loom on the left and tight chipping area is no bailout to the right. This fantastic green slopes front to back and will allow for a birdie if played correctly. Hole number 17. Sweet and sour, a beautiful par 3 with a gorgeous stone bridge, but be aware as the bridge does cross over the creek that loves to gather balls. Hole number 18. The finishing hole is a great way to end your day. Your tee shot must be played up the left to avoid the pond on the right. From there, a precise approach to the elevated green will leave you putting for birdie before the scores have been counted and the beverages drank. We hope you enjoyed the tour and look forward to seeing you at Canoe Creek soon.